Uh, the sun's going down. Shit, I haven't got much time. Alright, well, that's no concern. As I've got the box. Living for the mission. Like that. For the record, I've actually got um, brand new M17 uh, filter caps here. Which I bought before I got the valves. Because the valves didn't exist at that time. But of course... Shut up! Because now I've, I've, I've repaired them all. So I don't know what I'm going to do with them. If you want to buy some of those, let me know. Pop tarts, pop tarts, pop tarts. But of course... I've already read the title, why am I wasting my time? XM28. Experimental Mask 28, if I remember correctly. Um, <coughs> there's a little bag, which I don't know if you can read that. I might go do something. There we go. I've been waiting for this mask for a long fucking time. It got lost in transit at first. So, Come on, autofocus, turn on. Alright, fuck you. Come on, try again. Okay. Check mask for visual defects and leaks before each mission. Mask, comma, right control agent, comma, XM28E4. For use in right control agents only. And I want to point out the mask, is, uh, mask bag is fucking tiny. And I cannot tell you for the life of me. I mean, God's name this thing is supposed to seal with the mask in it. You pop that open and then you've got this little fucking inner bag. There's no pockets in the inner bag. It's just a big thingy. And I've got to say, I've got no fucking clue how you meant to get this mask in here. So, lovely green, uh, rather fucking soft, silky rubber, which is rather nice. It's silicon, if I remember correctly. It's very, quite satisfying to the touch. As the uh, BDSM people would no doubt say. XM28E4 Grasshopper, as it's mainly known. This one is a size small, sadly, but it's not staying in my collection. It's in fairly good condition, really. Let's get it off the head real quick. Alright, so... A very interesting mask. Um, if I can... They said the M17 was too bulky for tunnel rats. So they went with the XM28. You can certainly see why. The harness is a lot thinner this time around. A lot thinner. Uh, this one, I believe, was made in 1969. Yep, 1969 by MSA. It also says here on the rather loose fitting yet secure part there. Also, you can see they're size small. Here are your valves. Uh, if I pop one of these off, you'll be able to see that the inlet valves are completely eradicated. See there, it's, it's completely gone. There's no saving that. So what I might do is buy some more of those spare M17 valves and pop those on because they'll still be compatible. We can however see part of the filter in there. It's quite fibrous really. I'm just going to pop those back in because I don't know what else to do with them. Yeah, Alright, fuck it, that's gone. Alright, so So let's have a look at the inside for the record. Uh, valves are quite, uh, glass lenses are quite bendy. It's still very lovely to see. Let's pop the harness over the mask, like we always do. And show you the inside. There's a little plastic support in there, which uh, has broken sadly. And of course, you can see here the all laser cup is pinned down because you'd undo the pins and swap out the filter, which is this 
interesting hexagon shape. Uh, not hexagon, I don't know what you'd call that. The lenses are glued on from the inside, which is something I really did not anticipate to see with this model. It, uh, it feels haphazardly designed. Very comfortable. Uh, lovely rubber, like I say. Even the uh, curves of the oil laser copper pinned down, which is a pretty neat design. You can also see there, the uh, there is another maker's stamp in the bottom. Quite interesting breathing resistance, I've got to say. As, as we also know, it breathes out the bottom. That is not in the right, correct position. Can I rotate you? No, I'm going to have to completely take yours off. And then just pop you right back on, a little bit altered. There we go. There's not really a lot to say about this. As I said, it was made for the tunnel rats who said, hey, the M17 is far too bulky for us. In fact, some people were even going down into the tunnels without masks because of it. But then, of course, they'd run into things like chemical threat. Uh, one of the more interesting ideas about buying one of these online is the idea that the filters would be crammed full of Agent Orange still lingering about. That wonderful uh, anti-flora chemical. Whether or not that's true is a different story. <clears throat> I have breathed through this one, obviously clear of asbest by this point in uh, American history. Because I know there's still some people who'd probably ask. One of the uh, more appealing of the cheek filter designs. This one was sent to me through Devon as a trade, and then I've traded it to uh, Nick, who will be taking it off my hands. <coughs> like I say, I've got no idea how to put it in the carrier, so I'm not going to try and even show you how I think it's meant to go in. Belt loops. So, XM28E4, very cool. Very lovely to see one in the UK. Size small, sadly. If you've got a large, let me know. Uh, oh yeah, also the straps are a little bit different. As you can see there, the hinges stuck on like that. This mask tears very easily. There's a little bit of sort of hard sponge in there. I don't know if you can see it. There it is, that little black spongy thing for support. Very cool mask. Love to have it. Shame it ain't staying. Oh yeah, absolutely no voice at from either, of course. They didn't need to speak, really, not that much. Whole point was get in, sabotage, grab shit, get out. Like I say, very lovely to see. A nice piece of um, American Vietnam War history.